that. No. What the hell? Well, we got to take care of this. I really, really, really love to drive this car. It's not all about power, uh, although it has a lot of power. It, it is the 110 horsepower GTD engine, 8 valve engine, and it has a power box. Okay, no remap, just a power box. And it is really awesome to drive. But the dynamics of the chassis is really, oh my god, the response of the throttle. I really, really love this car. We bought this car new, and it's been an, a hero, an absolute hero. Just a, a few minor things here and there, and now this is really noise. I really, I don't mind. Uh, okay, it's very annoying, but considering the age of the car, and the problems that it has or not has uh, appeared on this car it's okay I can fix that no problem it will fix that on this video um, also the clutch it, it is a bit heavy but again this clutch uh, assembly has about okay this has 271,000 kilometers I uh, replaced the clutch kit when it had about 150 so okay uh, it's normal to be this hard on the, the pedal but I will uh, replace the fluid the, the brake fluid on the parts of the clutch the clutch pumps the slave and the master one and it usually gets a bit more soft okay so we are going to uh, take, take care of the hardness of the pedal to try to and take out this weird noise but I cannot stress enough the quality of the chassis of this car even though I have the play on the back wheels like I told you on the other video it's still not fixed and I can feel the rear of the car wobbling about still it is an excellent excellent driving experience dear god really good I don't know if it is the, the weight of the diesel engine on the front but I think the diesel ones are much better than the gasoline ones at least with the small twin spark engines the 1.6 and 1.8 the weight gives it a little bit more confidence if I can say so so uh, sorry about the the long intro but I really oh, it's, it makes me do crazy stuff with this car it's really <laughs> it's like being drunk driving this car very good to get to this part is very easy I already did a video or two about how to remove your uh, clutch pedal spring and the clutch pedal sensor and the um, master cylinder now what you want to do is to remove the long screw that is across your clutch pedal like that and now when you want to remove your uh, spring assembly down below like I'm doing here and now gently try to take out the pedal itself it's a bit jam in there but you will do it now here we have it I'm sorry about my wobbly table it is very very hot in Portugal uh, in Portugal it's always hot on the summer not only on the Varish land it's always here in Portugal too now here on the sorry about that here on the uh, assembly of this pedal, we have on the case of the Alpha 156 a bearing, an actual bearing, a metallic one. On some other cars, on the 147 Alpha GT, you may have plastic bushings. But the process is the same and the cares that you have to have are exactly the same. Now, obviously, this is a, a bit more robust, but nonetheless, the message is the same. What products do I, do I use? Normally, I don't like to show my products because I am not sponsored, okay? And saying this is the best uh, lubricant in the world is not being fair for other brands. But this, this, this is the one that I actually found that can actually work with... Um, sorry, not in English for you to see because this, is a, this, this has a sticker for Portugal. But actually, it says that it is good for metal and plastic parts. Metal 
plastico, okay, plastic in Portuguese. So it is compatible with uh, both things. Now, in here you may th may think, oh, that is just uh, metal. Why do we, I, I would need such a, a specialized lubricant? Because remember, you are always wetting the inside of this part that is plastic. And if you do not use the correct lubricant, you will crack the plastic all the way, okay? And also, as you are down there, lubricate also this pivot for the, the primary pump for the clutch, okay? And also you can lubricate the inside of this very rare part. About the spring, I already talked about this a million times, I know. Just one more question people have been asking me. Uh, with, when they don't break, do they lose pressure? No. Uh, as far as I can see, these uh, uh, springs break or not, okay? They actually don't lose force over time. Unless you live on a very corrosive area, I, don't, I did not ever saw a spring that loses its strength. On this case, obviously, okay? Normally they break and that's where I come in because I actually can uh, manufacture, not myself, can order springs to be manufactured with the exact specifications. I am doing that in Portugal. Okay, now let's get started just to lubricate this. Uh, as you can see, it's wobbly and my parts go away. So, apply lubricant. If you have uh, corrosion on your uh, bearings, I don't know if it is possible to replace them. Obviously, nothing is impossible, but viable, I don't know. Apply a generous amount. It does not have to be on the spray format. It can be on any other format because it actually makes it uh, look like a lot of lubricant, but in fact, it is not. It's just the gas that expands the lubricant itself. In this case, I really uh, would like to use another lubricant that I have here, a grease. Apply here and also apply just a bit, just a smidge over there, just to be smooth, okay? Nothing too radical. What I actually like to use, I have to have, a, I like to have a combination of different greases for each different purposes. I don't have a brand for this. Uh, why is that? As you may understand, I work uh, in the workshops. We have uh, the suppliers for the products, uh, and sometimes uh, the the suppliers are the same people that supply the oils for for the engines and those products, those those oil oil products. And we have um, big containers of grease to, to which to you, you, we use. And those containers normally don't have any references, any names, any nothing. It's just a blank uh, can with nothing written on it. Um, and then we use the lubricants. But I know for sure this lubricant here is only for plastics. And actually works very well on this case. So I will apply this over here. It is very thick. Okay. This one I think it will run away uh, a month or two later because it, it is very liquid, this one. This one being more thick, I think it will be better for this application. Again, I'm sorry if I don't, um, I'm not able to tell you what the product, the brand and the name product of this uh, release is, because I don't know. I just know because the salesman told me exactly what it is this for. It's, this is just for plastics. Now I'm applying this on metal, but you get the idea, okay? Now we can work this out, for example, like this. And you can see it's much thicker than this one is. Now again, here with the, this spray can. Um, I really hope that it has no, it does not have, just in Portuguese. If you want to freeze frame and translate it, this is an excellent water repellent uh, spray. And it actually has the PTFE 
uh, additive. It is really good for that video that I did about the window regulators. It is very good for the video that I did about the hood latch on my Alpha 156. That, those are places that don't have a lot of stress, a lot of um, impact forces to, to deal with. This grease here is more heavy and it can actually deal with kilograms of force or pounds of force with your, on your foot. So as you can imagine, this area over here is uh, under a lot of uh, stress and I am afraid that after five or six months of use, this grease is not enough and it will actually come off during work. So this more heavy stuff, grease is more uh, reliable for what I need. I need this to work for about uh, 15 years, about, about that. And... Um, that is it guys, just uh, put a smidge over there as you have your grease with you. You can ha also have here, this one is not so important, you can actually use the can one, but is, if you have that, you can use, no problems at all, it is plastic uh, grease after all. Uh, where do you get these greases? Just talk to the, your oil suppliers, the oil from, for the, the engine, the oil for the gear, gearboxes, the power steering, and they will manage to uh, sell you these specialty greases. So as you can see, with my very ugly feet, foot, feet, foot, no noise. Actually, I have a noise on the, my on my seat, but no noise. Hooray! Guys, before you get going, uh, before you get get to the the clutch um, purge itself, uh, I already already did a bunch of videos about that, but I will leave you. Uh, a small and fast uh, clip how to do that uh, actually with a little bit more information about that if you are liking this video please hit the like button if you want to consider subscribe and please share with your friends also on the description below there is a lot of information that can be useful for you and your friends check out all the links that I have below also below I have links if you want to for helps to the channel let's get, let's get going Now, as you may understand, the clutch system is uh, manufactured to be a certain uh, hardness on the pedal. That pedal uh, on the first 1000 uh, kilometers is very soft, okay, as you can understand. As the age goes by, it gets harder and harder. Now, the problem that I'm seeing here on the last few years is 
uh, fake parts, bogus parts, namely on the clutch kits. It's everywhere, on the uh, parts stores, on the internet, it's, it's a plague, okay? And the problem really is, you have, my arm is aching, uh, it was a long week, uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, and the flies are bugging me again. <laughs> when you have a very hard feel on your clutch pedal, actually you are uh, doing a lot more force on your pedal and a lot more pressure on the cylinders. Okay, you see what I'm getting, getting with this? If you have more pressure inside your cylinders, despite you doing your maintenance 20,000, sorry, 40,000 kilometers or two years maximum for the fluid on the, the cylinder uh, uh, clutch pumps, despite you doing that absolutely perfect, if you, if you are doing a lot of pressure on your pedal, those cylinders will fail. Obviously, they will fail because they are not prepared to do so much pressure hundreds of times of times each day okay as you are driving you're always working your clutch obviously okay so the problem may be bogus clutch kit yes that's true uh, your clutch kit must be very smooth in the first one hundred thousand kilometers if you do everything correctly okay if you lubricate the the, the splines or where the, the, the thrust banging work, uh, not too much lubricated because it will be uh, a paste because of the, the dust of the, the clutch itself. But that is for another video, okay? So be very careful with that. Be very careful with the parts that you buy. Be very careful with the quality of the parts. Even, even though it may say original parts on the box, Okay, I can print that in my, in my home. Uh, you must be really sure that you are buying quality parts if you want to maintain your beautiful car for years to come.